to be honest, art lately hasn't been really good. The $69 million artwork, which doesn't actually exist in the real world, make me sick to my stomach, such as the Adolf Hitler collection. What started as a physical representation of emotions or an encapsulation of beauty now has become more or less a way for rich people to just make more money. Here's my, this is my, my this is my, this is my, my, my. my. So today I want to go back to when art was good. I want to go back to when art was not a door-to-door -door scammer that takes all your money and still was a functional member of society. I want to go back to 1919 to the Bauhaus movement. Now I know there are tons and tons of videos out there covering what the movement is all about in great great details, so I'll just give you the clip notes version of it. In 1919, a German architect who goes by the name of Walter Gropius has founded the art movement Bauhaus with the idea of bringing about Gesamtkunstwerk, which means comprehensive artwork or whole art in which all art will one day become a singularity. Art will one day become one with the functionality of society. So just imagine chair, funny chair, really cool, really funny, simple looking chair with really funny, simple looking color. Mix it all together and boom. Yeah, Bauhaus, a type of art that is also functional. Can you believe that artists tell your mom and dad that you have something to do now? You can actually contribute to society by making a fucking chair. Why am I telling you all this? Why am I telling you about an art movement that you might or might not care about? Well, it's a necessary foundation for someone I'd like you to meet. Introducing Oskar Schlemmer. Schlemmer was born in Stuttgart, Swabia, Germany on September 4th, 1888. He lived a relatively normal life influenced by art and his early creations involved pictures of landscapes and paintings and drawings of nudes such as a still life with clown puppets. And as he started working more and more on his personal art, everything that he does or he makes become more and more geometrical. And <laughs> that is when he was drafted to war, of course. With the outbreak of the First World War, Schlemmer went on to become a soldier and enlisted for military service. Following the war, Schlemmer began to work in sculpture and seeing it as a logical progression to his geometric art. And his artistic abilities and obsession with the idea of man and puppets led him to Walter Gropius and Adolf Meyer. In May 1919, he received the Manifesto of the Bauhaus. He then focused on his dance project, painting, sculptures, and later parties and geometric theatrical performances, which is where the Bauhaus Theater Workshop was founded. For a bald guy who looks like he cooks meth, he completely reinvents the way I look at Bauhaus and the way everyone look at Bauhaus. Bauhaus is not only known for its productions, and now it's also known for its parties. Imagine Oscar Schlemmer's Sigma Grind Set 41. You make chairs, I make parties. We are not the same. I love this man so bad that I'd like to make an homage for both him and the art movement itself. What I'm about to make might be the second best thing you ever get to see. I'm making a Bauhaus triptych. It's like a Saul Goodman ad. Holy shit. How am I going to do this? Oh, I'm going to take three elements from the Bauhaus movement and three elements from Oscar Schlemmer and just jam them into one. Let's see how it goes. The first method I'll be using is photography documentation. So I'll take two elements, arts and crafts and pen and machine because the best way to represent an art movement whose whole goal is to combine arts and crafts is to create arts and crafts itself. Since Bauhaus has a very straightforward curriculum, I'll be doing research on some clay and wood. And since it's the cheaper, more affordable, and much more simple medium for me, it's very, very Bauhaus of me to do so. For this first part, I will be reimagining the Oscar Schlemmer Silver Mask. First is taking a balloon, I taped it, and I added paper mache on it. This took around 4 to 5 hours because I'm more or less very unfamiliar with the way things work in the arts and crafts world. And next thing is letting it dry. After drying it, I will be poking the whole thing out. Boom, blam, and then adding clay to solidify everything else. I think the silver mask was made with metal, so it's thinner and more wearable. 
just fuck that, I guess. I'll be adding in tin foil for the sake of looking metallic. And here's the mask completed. And I took my friend out to do a photo shoot. Let's have a little show off, shall we? thing I tackled is something that people are really not familiar with in the Oscar Schlemmer world and that is his art because he only did art later in his career life when he started feeling more comfortable and knowing where he stands and it was at the peak of the Bauhaus movement as well. By doing art, it's simple geometric shapes and seeing people by form. So again, I took my friend out, covered his face in paint and made a hell of a portrait out of it. Everything is geometric, clean, except for the clothing because you know what? Sometimes, gotta make it look cool. And for the last thing for Oscar Schlemmer, I wanted to do something really, really special. Something that really captures the essence of Oscar Schlemmer himself. Introducing form follows function in performer and space. Oscar Schlemmer is known for his geometric puppets. He breathes life into whatever seemed rigid and immovable at first glance. So to raise this concept, I'll be making a lenticular poster with two parts that both represent Bauhaus in different ways. And every time the viewer moves, the poster moves with them. Just as a little dance, the triadic ballet. The first poster piece will inherit the art part of Bauhaus, and the second poster piece will inherit the functional and production side of Bauhaus. The piece as a whole will come alive just as Oscar Schlemmer gave life to his puppet. And I also had a little secret in there which you can guess by commenting down below. Isn't it so cool to have an art movement that is not only artistic, emotional, but also very functional? Thank you so much for watching. If you want to make Bauhaus art for yourself or things that are related to Oscar Schlemmer, I've left links down in the description below of my researches and what I've used to make these. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you like one of these bad boys here, it's the only one. I am the only one who has it. You're not getting it. And why is this the second best thing you'll ever get to see? Oh, the other day I saw some bit of a cat getting fed, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Peace. Вот у нас два мальчика катаются, не один, да, Киселётик?